Hey everyone, welcome back. So this is the second video of this DEX interview question and answer video series. So I hope you have already watched that previous video, right? If not, then please check out to the description sections of this video. I have given the link on that. So I kindly request you all, please watch that video first, then come to this one, alright? So without wasting time, let's continue with our next most important DEX questions. So the next question is, what is top and DEX function in Power BI? So top and DEX function is basically used to return the top and rows of a specified table. It means suppose we have a table having 100 number of records and if I just want to see only 5 records from that particular table so in that case we will use top and DEX functions in Power BI. Okay, so here you can see the syntax of top and that is top and and inside the bracket you have to uh, give the n value it means the number of records you want to see okay here you can see this is the n value it means the first this is the first parameter and for this you have to pass a value on that it means how many numbers of record you want to see okay and second parameter is table name table name means from which table you want to extract those rows okay so and next is order by expression okay so in which order you want to see the data these are the three parameters that you have to pass in top and dex functions first is n value it means the number of value you or number of records you want to see okay and from which table you want to see you have to give the name of that particular table here and third is the order by expression in which order you want to see that data okay so this is the use of top and dex function all right then the next is all dex functions so let's understand when we will use this all dex function in power bi okay so basically all dex function is, is used to return all the rows in a table or all the values in a column by ignoring any filter that might have been used in that particular table or in that particular column okay so in short all dex function is used to remove all the filters from a table or a from a column all right so where we, we want to remove all the filters from a particular table or or from a column because sometime when you are doing the calculations at that time suppose we don't want uh, uh, any any filter on that particular table or on that particular column of that table okay so at that time what we have to uh, do so for that we have to apply all dex functions okay so when we will apply this all dex functions in that calculations what you, it will do first of all it will remove all the filters from that particular table or from that particular column okay then it will do the calculations on the basis of the entire data of the table right so at that place we use the all dex functions all right these functions removes the corresponding filters from the filter context just as remove filters dodge okay so the use of all dex functions and remove filters dex functions are the same one okay both are used to remove the filter from a particular table or from a column so here you can see the syntax of the all dex function for that first of all you have to write the all keyword okay then inside the bracket you have to pass column name or the table name from where you want to remove all the filters right so this is the use of all dex function in power bi then the next dex function is all except dex function okay so all except dex function is basically used to remove all the context filter in a table except the filter that have been applied to a specified column in short if we have multiple filters in a column and to get a value you want to remove all the filters but you want to keep only one filters in this column so in that case this function it means this all except dex function is more helpful for you okay and here you can see the syntax of this all dex functions that is first of all you have to write the keyword called all except and inside the bracket you have to pass two things that is table name and column name where table name means 
the table over which all context filters are removed except filter on those columns that are specified in the subsequent argument okay whereas column name means one or more columns that are specified for which context filter must be preserved and another thing is that remember this all except text functions can return an entire table or a table with one or more columns okay so here you can see the example of this all text function then the next one is all selected text functions so in power bi when we want to return all the row in a table or all the values in a column by ignoring any filter that have been applied inside the query but keeping the filters that come from outside so in this case the best dex functions that we have to use is called as the all selected dex function okay and here you can see the syntax of this all selected dex functions that is first of all you have to write the keyword all selected and inside the bracket you have to pass a table name or that may be the column name okay from where you want to remove all filters that has been applied within the query okay and the next point is the return type for this all selected dex function is that may be an entire table or a table with one or more column all right so this is all about all selected dex function okay then the next is what is calculate dex function in power bi so basically calculate dex function is used to evaluate an expression in a context modified by the filters okay it means suppose we want to calculate something from a particular table by applying some filters on that okay so in that case we use this calculate dex functions okay and the return type of this calculate dex function is a scalar value scalar value means it's a single value all right and remember this calculate dex functions is a very commonly used dex function in power bi okay so this is one of the most important dex function and here you can see the syntax of this calculate dex functions so for that first of all you have to write the keyword calculate and inside the bracket you have to pass two things one is expression and another thing is filter okay so you can apply more number of filters on this calculate dex functions if you need all right so for example suppose we have a table called as the orders okay and inside this orders table we have a column called as the cells so if you want to calculate the total cells of this orders table by applying the filters on region equal to east it means you want to see the total cells of the orders table where region equal to east right so at that time you have to write this calculate dex functions so calculate and inside the bracket you have to write the sum then you have to pass the column name then close the bracket then give the comma and after that you have to specify the filter that is region equal to east okay so in this way we can use the calculate dex function in power bi so remember this is one of the most important dex function okay then the next most important dex function is calculate table dex functions so what is calculate table dex functions so as we have already learned about calculate dex functions right so calculate and calculate dex functions both are completely same okay but the only difference in between these two is in case of calculate dex functions it returns a scalar value it means it returns a single value whereas in case of calculate table dex functions it returns a entire table okay it returns a table of values all right so here you can see the calculate dex functions is basically used to evaluate a table expressions in a context which is modified by the given filters okay suppose we have a table okay and in this table we have a uh, hundred number of records are there and uh, in from that table i want to extract another sub table okay based on some criteria or by applying some filters on that right so in that case we will apply the calculate table dex functions so calculate table dex functions is basically used to extract a sub table from a existing table okay
and here you can see the syntax of this calculate table dex functions that is calculate table and inside the bracket you have to pass two things one is expression and second is filter okay and here you can see the example of this calculate table dex function then the next dex functions that we are going to learn is calendar dex functions okay so calendar dex functions is basically used to create a calendar table in power bi based on the starting date and ending date provided it means calendar dex function is used to create one table okay which contain a column date and inside the date the value is in between the start date and the end date so, okay so here you can see the syntax of this calendar table so for this first of all you have to write this keyword called as a calendar and inside the bracket you have to pass two things that is start date and end date okay so for example if you want to create a table called as the august 2019 calendar table all right so for that first of all you have to write the keyword calendar here okay and inside the bracket you have to pass two things that is start date and the end date right so in place of start date you have to write the keyword date first and inside the bracket you have to pass the start date of the august month right so this is first august 2019 okay and after that you have to give the comma then you have to pass the second argument that is end date right so this is the end date first of all you have to write the keyword date then inside that you have to pass the values that is 31st august 2019 okay so what will be the output for this uh, dex functions this calendar dex functions will create one table call as the august 2019 calendar okay and inside that table it will create one column call as the date and inside that particular date column it will contain the values starting from 1st august 2019 to 31st august 2019 okay so remember one thing this calendar dex functions return a table with single column okay with single column name is the date right and it containing a continuous set of dates the range of the date is from the specified start date that you have applied here to the specified end date okay and also it will include the both the start date and the end date in this particular column so this is all about the calendar dex function in power bi okay then the next dex function is calendar auto dex function okay so let me clear you first the functionality of the calendar dex function and calendar auto dex function is completely same okay so the only difference is that in place of calendar dex functions we have to pass two argument inside the bracket one is start date and another is end date right but in case of calendar auto dex functions we do not need to give any parameter inside that okay it will automatically create a calendar table for you which contain a column called as date and inside the date column the range of the dates is calculated automatically based on the data in the model it means suppose you have imported one table previously and inside that table we have a column called as the date right so uh, calendar auto dex function what it will do it will automatically go to that particular column which contain the date type of data and figure it out the maximum value and the minimum value from that particular column okay and based on that range it returns a table with a single column named as date which containing a continuous set of data and the range of data is calculated automatically based on the data in the model okay so this is the only difference between the calendar and calendar auto dex functions all right so for today let's stop it here because it is not good to make this video longer all right Anyway we will continue with this dex interview questions and answer in our next upcoming video okay till that take care bye bye